We are delighted, really delighted to be a part of this evening's program. And we understand laws like ADA need to be monitored, need to be supported, need to be enforced, need to be expanded where necessary. And so we are glad to be a part of this evening's program. ADA Watch and the National Coalition for Disability Rights was formed in response to numerous threats to the ADA, uh, the most important civil rights law to people with disabilities, and we were founded to be a response to the critics and to the opponents that are looking to weaken the ADA. Before I had a disability, I was endowed with all sorts of rights as a an able-bodied person. Once I became a person with a disability, I found out that I didn't have access to places where I needed to shop, places where I worked uh, might not be accessible, uh, opportunities to access government services might not be available either. So as a result of that, the theory came up that we should pass a law so that people with disabilities stop being second-class citizens, that we could travel independently, we can work, we can recreate, we can participate in communities um, all across the country no matter where we live. We're talking about over 54 million Americans with a whole range of disabilities, from physical disabilities to sensory and cognitive disabilities, mental illness, uh, any, any kind of an impairment that limits a person's function. This includes soldiers who are returning for, from Iraq with disabilities, elderly people, people with HIV, AIDS, and people with disabilities are having to fight way too hard to maintain inclusion in society in America. We're all aging. The boomers are going to need uh, disability attention as much as anybody else. In a couple of years, I'm going to need a ramp. I'm going to need a way to get around my home, no doubt, uh, just as my folks did. And I think that fact is slowly creeping into the national consciousness. What's very important about the Americans with Disabilities Act is that it really has enabled people around the world to see what disabled people can do to make a difference in their life working with their governments. I want to thank the National Coalition for Disability Rights uh, and for the ADA Watch Program because vigilance is required. We've made tremendous progress in this country in many areas over the last 15 years, but there are also areas that we need to continue to make progress to make sure that people with disabilities are never treated as second-class citizens uh, in this country. We've made great progress in the area of access to higher education and greater access to buildings. Uh, we still have a long way to go in the area of employment. People with disabilities want to be tax-generating, not tax-depleting citizens. We are people with money. Till the society recognizes people with disabilities as a future market, we won't get to the point of integration. I think if you talk to the average person on the street, they would be unaware of this sort of pro of, of the problems facing uh, uh, people with disabilities. And so, I want to be involved. So that's why I'm here. Be some changes, man. Gonna be, gonna be some changes, man. We're happy to be here tonight at the Strathmore with Bruce Hornsby, Sweet Honey in the Rock, and Laura Dodd, and also the images of Tom Olin, which is a photographic history of the struggle for disability rights. There are people that, that when they get to see these images, for the first time they'll see someone that they can um, look at and not pity and as, because as soon as you look and pity a person with a, in a chair or in a, has a cane or like that then there's someone that are not like you you know you're not going to pity a friend Comcast is really pleased to support not only the American Disabilities Act celebration of 15 years but also we're here to support the awareness of Americans with disabilities as a civil rights issue the voices of disabled people are really being heard more and more. Too slow in many cases and too low in many cases, but they are becoming louder. This was a really valuable evening for us because we got to put a human face on disability rights and show that it is more than about the law and about lawyers and indeed is about sharing in the American dream.